that the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? Pleasure. Don't mind if I do. <coughs> What's that? <laughs> I'm way too big. Breathing, despite everything. Time to press ahead. You've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. to be here. You're about to be ejected. Managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. Wouldn't go in there. Lest you fancy blowing your bones all the way to Boulder's Gate.
absolutes looking I out for me. never felt now. so strong. Please, get me out. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakin would reward us if we found it. That's all. I wouldn't dawdle if I were you. I doubt true soul Minthara has much patience left. while it's watching. The eye's glassy black surface reflects your gaze. As you gaze deeper, you feel a focus, an intent. You feel a brief lurching connection, the sensation of falling into your own image endlessly. Confusion. Alarm. Then the presence withdraws, leaving a dull black mirror once more. wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? We'll no smoke them out, no problem.
raiders do we have? Plenty of lashes, loads of hunters, and a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. These pariahs, they're prepared. Day three. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. But, but I want to hear it squeal. One, that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. you up. Wary, but not yet attacking. Moment. 
transport is set. through. Just take a peek. my breath. Thank you. 
very well. What fools these mortals be. Indeed. See their chances.
Der Tod! Over here. To me. 
burn. Swiftly now. Take that. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? What's in here? Deep and move.
my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host that's you, turns into a mind flare. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flare by now. You? Infected by a mind flare? Oh, ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. Just peer in your eye. I could quickly. Oh, my dear sweet God! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. You know, I was just thinking about you, remembering our little encounter in the night. The very same. It obviously put me off your neck, but now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. And <laughs> not that anyone's volunteered. It's just an idle fancy. Alas, it doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined, like well-aged brandy. But Shadowheart, I have no idea. How do you think our little enigma would taste? Yes. Heavens forbid we have an interesting conversation. Still, I am intrigued by the possibilities.
relax. We're just talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't be disgusting. I just mean a sip of their blood. No mastication required. conversation honestly you have no sense of fun Stop me yet. Always a pleasure. May the darkness protect you. Finding me an artifact to consume, which I assume you're pursuing with the appropriate urgency. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? it might, but I shall try all the same. Set up you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Not yet, I'm afraid. 
but my expectations are very, very high. My faith protects me. Watch your back. Let me work my magic. Is that blood? No, never mind. Mm, something's on my mind. Shah's blessings upon you. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah, mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from. And what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. have a point fine let's explore these powers then I just hope we don't come to regret it you already know my biggest secrets what more can you ask she took me in when no one else would without her I wouldn't be alive She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. What, besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's a deal. No, I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. I love you. 
Fine. What's on your mind? Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person owing to you. That place is sealed off to the world now. I don't see the point in dwelling on it anymore. Not while we've our own problems to see to. I think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. I know a place. Not just yet. Let's choose our moment. Some quiet night, when the others are asleep and there's no distractions. I'll come for you. Note really. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped the fey magic of the hag might be enough to remove your tadpole. But it wasn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that you only lost an eye. You could have lost much more. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. 
When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. <laughs>